what do you do y'all welcome to the crypto channel 39 today's video we are going to talk about the pgb prosperity gem ventures okay some big updates coming up okay so i want you to be updated about this project okay i know many of you are not in the discord you know honestly discord is a mess right <laughs> i much rather spend time on tg group and read the pin messages then coming over here because you know if you go over here to general you, you see message all over the place right so it's not very helpful so if you were looking for information just come over here to announcements and you can find the announcements that a pgv creator dropped okay so just an update monday january 23rd okay will be the last day any more deposits are accepted on polygon and tron network okay so tron uh contract okay so as as it is right now you can no longer deposit on bsc contract okay so until next monday so today it's the 19th okay until next monday you can still deposit on polygon and tron network okay but you can only roll with this project polygon or tron network uh until 17th of uh february okay because after that you know they will refund every single user from all the contracts to only one contract okay so every user that is in bsc usd contract tron contract and polygon contract okay they all will be moved to uh, USDC contract moving forward. Well, let me rephrase this. Every single user will be refunded and then if they want to, they can roll with the new and only contract, the BSC USDC contract on Binance Smart Chain, of course. Okay, guys? So the BSC USD contract will be our last one. Makes it easy on me and my team to manage one contract moving forward. Okay, so that means these con the contracts on polygon bsc and tron they are going to disappear okay they are, i believe is going to be today they are launching a new contract today which is the bsc usdc contract okay and uh, you can request your refund now and move your funds to the new um new contract okay because eventually by the 17th of february okay um no one else will be able to be invested in polygon bsc on tron old smart contracts because they want to uh, get rid of those contracts and only roll with one contract okay so the bsc usd c contract okay also um still on track to release the ai bot software and platform on february 10th okay cool right so new contract and site will be live tomorrow january 18th at 10 a.m eastern time okay so today is the 19th new website still nowhere to be seen okay uh let me see there is an update over here okay just an update two to three hours tops new site and contract will be live okay and then uh, there is also another pin message right here so this was one one o'clock in the morning right so we still don't have the new website so i believe they're still building up okay so in regards to refunds okay so uh they are waiving the 15 day wait periods for the bsc and bsc only contract okay so this means that anyone who wants a refund from bsc contract can request one by filling out the refund form okay so all they want to do is want people to request the refunds okay so they want people to get their money out so they can uh you know move into the new contracts okay but please remember uh thought that after you have requested a refund by filling out the form it will take three to five days before you receive it okay we are only waiving the 15 day wait period for bsc contract not for tron or polygon okay so if you are if you recently joined tron or polygon you have to wait 15 days before after your investment before you can um request 
a refund okay right so now we have a video right here in this video this is a 24 minutes long video okay and this is where he's going to explain the new website new dashboard and how everything works i haven't really watched this video yet because i don't want to watch it twice it's a long video i don't want to watch it twice so i am gonna watch it with y'all okay in the meantime i'm gonna make comments if i have something to comment of something that you might not understand okay, so well, let's go this is going to be a very important video, so be sure to watch it all the way to the end. I'm going to be going over a lot of things, talking about the new contract um, that's coming out, the USDC contract, um, the new website, as you can see here on the screen. This is kind of a sample. It's not completely done, but it will be uh, soon. Um, we're going to be going over that and talking about um, moving over to the USDC contract. Okay, so we've got a lot of things I want to go over with you guys in this video. Please be sure to watch it in. Now, first thing I want to go uh, state in this video, that way, you know, those that, you know, don't end up watching it to the end, uh, I want to get this out the way. We are going to be uh, rescheduling our AMA, okay? And I know for a lot of you, you're like, oh, reschedule AMA again, da 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 da. Okay, guys, we got a lot of work we're doing, okay? Um, watch this video to the end and you may understand that we have a lot of things we're doing. We're making a big transition right now. And after watching this video, hopefully you can understand that. Okay. Um, what's more important for me is to make sure that we sustain and get things done that need to get done. And doing an AMA takes away. That's, that's easily two, three hours of time taken away by answering questions when we could be getting everything um, you know, we need to get completed and all the stuff we need to get done and then do an AMA. Okay. And that's how the way I do things. Um, and again, some of you may not like it, but it is what it is. That's how we're doing it. Okay. There's, there's no, I'm not, you know, guys, I'm, I'm working right now. Probably I'm sleeping about three hours a day right now. Okay. That's how crazy it is. So, um, you know, least that any of you can do is, is, is have some type of consideration for me as far as saying, Hey, this guy's working in the background, trying to sustain everything. Um, let them do what we have to do and then we'll, we'll have the AMA. All right. So let's talk about with that being said, let's, let's get into talking about what's, what's coming, right? What's the updates, what's coming, what you can expect and what, you know, what are we really doing moving forward? What's the reasons for us creating a new contract? All these things. I want to, I want to get all of this out because there's so many questions around this and I want to get those questions answered in this video. So first things first. Okay. Yes, we are creating a new, uh, we're going to have a new website, okay? This is how the new website looks, all right? Um, now, it's, you see here, it says, um, let me just go over, let's click on this contract, for example, a Tron contract, all right? Stick with me because we're going to be talking about refunds, everything, all right? So this is example for Tron. Um, you can see here, looking, on, um, looking here, you can see it says uh, balance. This is the balance on the contract, and then this is the total gems and total gems harvested. So basically, the way we have it set up, basically on the new contract um, it's total um, basically gems are total gems meaning like total deposits and total gems harvested meaning total withdrawal all right you see your hunt gems and harvest gems hunt gems just means that you're gonna do a deposit harvest gems means that you're going to withdraw simple as that okay so that's how we have the new contract and, and how it's being set up and it will even show that way in the transactions on the contract that is what you'll see under the name you're actually gonna see um, hunt gems, which on the contract, it'll show us hunt gems, not deposits. And then when you do a withdrawal, it'll show us harvest gems. Okay. That's how it's going to show on the contract. Okay. There's no redeposit function, none of that stuff. Okay. The new contract is not going to have a redeposit function. Um, guys, you can, this is, you know, people want, people for some reason think they can compound to infinity and, you know, just there, there's this, there's this kind of, um, I guess you would say a uh, thing where people think that they can compound to infinity and, and, and become these, these millionaires, right, overnight, and just not the reality, okay? Um, not for a sustainable project, That's all right? So now, rug pulls, you can find that all the time, but for a sustainable project, no, okay? So there's not going to be any redeposit uh, compounding buttons, okay? It's simply deposit withdrawal. You get a withdrawal once a week on the new contract, once a week, same thing as all the other contracts, okay? Withdrawal once a week. Um, obviously, again, there's not going to be any, I've stated this before, but I'll, I'll state it in this video. There's not going to be any, um, you know, any referrals, no referral links, none of that, okay? None of that stuff, okay, um, on the new contract. Now, the reason why, and this is, this is the biggest thing that the new contract is going to have, 
okay? And, and the main reason why I decided to create a new, uh, new contract, all right? This is the main reason, all right? Everybody wants to know, so I'm gonna tell you right now. The main reason why is because I'm spending too much time on refunds. Right now, the way it's set up, and let me just explain to you. So this is, for example, Tron. Let me go to the Tron contract. Actually, it's already open, so let me just open it up. So here's the Tron contract, okay? Now, the problem is, is that I'm spending too much time doing refunds because they're done mainly with the contracts that we have right now, right? Three contracts, which is the BSC USDT contract, the BSC USDC contract, and the Polygon contract. I am the way that it was set up was I'm basing to, to manually do refunds manually, right? Um, so that has to be done one by one. I have to check screenshots. I have to do all that stuff, right? So it's very time consuming. Okay. Now the new contract is going to be a hundred percent different. Okay. A hundred percent different. So on the new contract, the, US, the new USDC contract, you're actually going to be able to get, um, to, do your refunds on your own by interacting directly with the contract itself. This means you'll be able to come over to the contract, come over here to contract, click on write contract, and you'll be able to utilize the refund function. Okay, right now you can't, okay? Because the contracts that we have now weren't set up that way. I have to go in there and do, do it manually. I'm the only one that can do that, right? So we wanted to change that, okay? Why, again, time. It's time consuming. I'm spending so much time since the beginning of this project. If I could go back and stay, well, how many hours or how many hours, forget hours, how many days in total have I spent? Out of, you know, we, our first contract, um, for those of you that are new, our first contract was, was launched in October. Okay. That was a Tron contract. This one here. Okay. This came out in October. You can see here, created on, look at this date. 10, With questions. This was created in October 17th. So, you know, we, we've, this, you know, our first contract has been around since October, October 17th. We've, we've been around, okay. We've, our projects have been around, um, for many months. And, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of rug pulls in the space and a lot of these projects came out way after we did and haven't even been around a month in rug pulls. So we've, we have so far proven that we can, you know, that we've been able to last. All right. Um, now with that being said, in order for us to keep doing so, right, um, we have to make sure that we have all the, the proper things set in place, all right? And that's why we're creating the new contract. Now, what we want is we do want, okay, and this is not going to happen overnight, so don't freak out, don't go crazy. This is not going to happen overnight. We do want people to start populating, okay, once, once the new site comes out, once the new contract is live, which it should be by the end of today, if not early tomorrow, because we, we need to make sure it's correct. <clears throat> we need to make sure everything on it is correct. We need to test it, all that stuff. So we're doing all of that stuff now because we can't have any flaws in it. There can't be any flaws. So we have to test out all the functions and that's what we're doing. Now, when it comes out, very important, um, we are going to start wanting people to start populating uh, as, as they can over to the new, over to the new, uh, the new USDC contract. We are going to, we are going to want people to populate over. Um, Again, that's, that's what we're going to want. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> we're going to want people to start populating over to the new contract because, again, um, it's going to be uh, make things a lot easier and a lot better for us, um, our team, and save us a lot of time, right? We're going to be at a – the thing is when, we, when I spend so much time doing refunds, okay, days and day, – you know, I mean, like I said, uh, probably – I would say since October again, October, November, December. So I would say at least a month of time has been spent doing refunds since October, right? So just that's that's a lot, right? That time could have been used for me focusing more on, uh, you know, the trading bot software that we all have, all that stuff, right? But because I have to spend more time doing refunds, it takes away from me being able to really produce on the level that I want to produce on for this project. Okay. And you know, I have to eliminate that. I have to eliminate that. So I don't have to be spending time doing that. That's why the new contract is going to have the function on it to where you all can get your own refund. You interact directly with the contract itself and get your own refund. Now it's going to be set to it two days. It's going to be set to uh, 21 days. This means that after you have made your first deposit, okay, you make your first deposit. Let's say it's a hundred USDC, right? You make your first deposit in. That means once you make your first deposit, 
21 days from that time, you'll be able to go if you wanted to. If you wanted not that you had to. If you wanted to, you'll be able to go to the contract and you'll be able to go connect your wallet to the contract, go to the with, uh, to the refund function and initiate your own refund yourself. You don't have to wait on us, no processing, none of that. You initiate your own refund on your own. Let me just pause here. So it would be easier if you could uh, put um, a function where you can withdraw your capital, just like Stable Fund and um, all the other late projects where you, after a certain amount of days, you could withdraw your uh, initial capital by just clicking that button instead of going to the back end and do the same thing. But, okay. you know, let's see what and he that's says. How it's gonna be. That's the way the new contract's being set up, okay? This completely eliminates me from having to do anything dealing with refunds. You get your own. You are the one that gets your own. You know, interact directly with the contract, and you get your. If you put funds in, 21 days later, you can interact directly with the contract and get your own refund out. Okay. So that's what we're doing. This also eliminates by doing so. Another thing this eliminates is this. Uh, these hackers, these scammers out here that want to request refund on behalf of other people. Okay. Um, the thing is, guys, uh, and we're going to have this on the site, okay? So there's a, uh, we'll go over it once. You'll see it on the site once the new site uh, comes out. But basically, we, we have kind of a tip tutorial on all the steps you need to take to kind of secure your wallet, the things you need to make sure that you're doing, um, so that way your wallet doesn't get hacked, okay? Because 99% of the time, the reason your wallet gets hacked is because either uh, you attach some fake tokens to it, right, and you don't know any better, you're in fact, you attach some fake token, and that will allow um, them to pull out of your wallet. Um, you don't set timers like if you're using MetaMask. You should be setting timers on your MetaMask wallet, um, so that way, if you are connected to a site, it'll automatic or it'll automatic or basically it'll lock your wallet. Um, another thing is make um, you also want to make sure that you uh, disconnect right from sites. Anytime, anytime I disconnect, anytime I connect my wallet to any site. Okay, I disconnect from it immediately after I'm done using it. Okay, no matter what site it is. So there's a lot of steps you can take, and there's more. Uh, I'm just giving you a few. Uh, we have, but we have, we're gonna have tips on here on, on things you can do to keep your wallet secure. Okay, understand your wallet is your wallet. It has nothing to do with the project. Okay, people get very confused. There's, listen, we don't offer accounts, none of that, guys. You're interacting directly with the smart contract. So your wallet is your wallet. You set it up if you're using MetaMask, SafePal, whatever wallet you're using, Trust Wallet. That's your wallet, right? You set it up. Um, you have access to your own um, C phrase, private key, all that. That is, that is your wallet. That has nothing to do with us. We don't have control over your wallet, and we're not responsible if somebody goes to, into your wallet and uh, or somehow gets into your wallet and hacks your wallet. That has nothing to do with us. Nothing whatsoever. Okay, your wallet is your responsibility. You need to learn how to secure your wallet, so, um, and and you know make sure you're taking proper precautions and steps on each and every day um, when utilizing you know or connecting things to your wallet. Okay, or adding tokens to your wallet. Okay, you need to you need to be more responsible in that way and learn uh, the steps and make sure you're securing your wallet at all times. All right, so that is again what we plan on doing. All right, so now everybody knows. Hopefully, I answered the question. All right, again, just to recap, uh, the USDC contract, you'll be able to get your own interact directly with the contract and get your own refund. Okay, no need to request a refund. You'll be able to get your refund on your own. Number two. Um, when it comes to secondly, the second thing, number two is uh, obviously there's no redeposit. We, we've taken redeposit off everything, guys. Okay, um, you can withdraw weekly, and that's it. All right. Um, if you want to, if you want to deposit back after you withdraw weekly, you can. If you don't, that's up to you. That is your choice to make. Um, and then of course, no referrals. No referrals. Completely no referrals. That's not gonna. There's not gonna be any referrals. Now, lastly. Um, another reason why, and this is another reason why we are, we are actually moving to, um, you know, to a USDC contract is because we're actually doing, um, you know, the trading is being done. Okay. Um, every, it's all being done decentralized now. Okay. Uh, we're, we're utilizing a decentralized, uh, basically platform and, um, it's not pancake swap or anything like that. An actual real platform that we integrated our, uh, bot with. And we're, it's completely decentralized, okay? Um, because the thing is, um, we we needed to be on a decentralized uh, platform because uh, you know centralized exchanges, for example, um, don't really give you control, 
You know, they you you, you have limitations. Um, KYC is not the big deal. It's the limitations, right? You have limitations on what you can uh, pull in and out. You have limitations on a lot of different things. So um, decentralized is the way to go. All right. So that's what we're doing now. And I'll be, and I'll be sharing that with you once we have our AMA. I'm not going to give an exact date yet. Let us get this done. I will give you guys a day-to-day -day update, but we have a lot of work we're doing. You know, right now we're a little bit behind on refunds. Again, going back to what I said before, this is the reason why the new contract's going to allow you to get your own refund, you know, interact with the contract directly and get your own refund. Okay. We won't be involved with that process. You are in control completely. All right. Um, so that's, that's that there. But yeah, that's that's kind of pretty much it. Um, again, new sites should be coming out either later on tonight or possibly tomorrow morning. Um, again, we, we're we're testing out a lot of things. We just want to make sure everything's all the functions are working. We can't have any we can't have any mistakes with this one, right? So we want to make sure it's right um, and and make sure everything is getting done properly. So uh, it will be ready tonight or tomorrow morning, and that's what we'll be doing. All right. So again, I, I do want to emphasize on this one more time. All right, to be very clear, yes. Everybody is going to be moving over to the new contract because we will be over the next 30 days, okay, um, basically tapping out, closing out, okay, all the other contracts, okay. Now, right now, we're putting them on the site because we have them; they're here, right? You need. We want you to be able to. Uh, we want you to be able to do your weekly claims, right? Your weekly um, withdrawals, right, from the contracts that we have now, right? Which is the Polygon. Um, if I just go back over here, is the the Polygon, uh, the the Polygon and the Tron, and of course the um, the the BSC USDT contract. Okay, so obviously we have that. We're gonna have that on the new sites now. But once we get everybody populated over to the new uh, BSC USD, USDC contract, then that is when we're gonna take that off. We're gonna take the other contracts off the site, and at that point. Again, that'll be it, okay? But that's after we get everybody over, everybody refunded, all that, then that's when that'll happen, all right? Again, there's no rush. We're, we're, we're estimating that, uh, you know, we wanna do this over the next 30 days, okay? Uh, this is not a rush situation where it has to be like, like right now, you gotta request a refund, no. Uh, again, wait till the, we, the new site comes out, the new contract, um, and then if you want to, you know, request the refund, you can. Uh, very, another uh, tip I want to give everybody is you should with, make sure, let's say your, you know, your last withdrawal was, um, let's say your last withdrawal was, let's say, let's say you did, you did your last withdrawal, you know, six, or let's just say three days ago, as an example, three days ago. Okay. Um, I, re I recommend that before you request a refund, let's just put it this way. I recommend that before you request a refund. Make sure you uh, claim, withdraw your rewards, okay? Because um, the full deposit refund does not include rewards, guys. Okay, that it's it, it nowhere in there doesn't state that it's called a full deposit refund. That means you're getting your full deposit back, not rewards. Okay, so if re rewards are getting accumulated while you're waiting for your refund, okay. You need to claim them. Don't leave them there because that's not going to be included in your refund. That's not what's included. It's called a full deposit refund. Okay. Listen to those words. Full deposit refund. It says nothing in there about uh, rewards. All right. So please understand that. So I highly, I would suggest that you make sure if you're requesting a refund, make sure that you are staying on top of your rewards because, um, again, once you get, once you receive a refund, your wallet is auto banned, okay? Um, through the process of the way the contract is set up, once your refund, once your refund has been sent, it auto it auto bans your wallet from the contract. This means that if you come back over, connect to the site, your your account will be zeroed out, okay? And if you deposit, if you still decide to deposit, it's your fault, okay? And that makes no sense because what will happen is because when you have when your wallet's banned, you're not accumulating any rewards. So you'll be depositing, but it makes no sense because nothing's being accumulated. All right. And remember, it's only one refund per wallet. So same way when the new B, uh, the new uh, contract comes out, BSC, the USDC contract. All right. Even when you go. So, again, you're going to be able to do your own refund. So when you go to interact with the contract, let's say 21 days after your deposit. You want to go ahead and you want to uh, claim 
when you go to the contract, as an example, <clears throat> and you come to claim, or you, or you connect your wallet and you go ahead, use the refund function, okay? Once you use a refund function and you get a refund, that wallet is auto banned. That means that you cannot use that wallet anymore. You can't go and try to cheat the system and get refund, refund, refund. That's not, it's not going to work like that, okay? The way the function is going to work is after, again, after you do your first deposit, 21 days later, you'll be able to do your own refund. You'll be able to do your own refund directly by, by interacting with the contract. You'll be able to do your own refund from the contract. From there, your wallet is auto banned, okay? That means that you should never use that wallet again to deposit onto the contract. If you do, it makes no sense because a banned wallet is not going to accumulate any rewards at all, okay? So you're just wasting your time. And because you're, because you're interacting with the contract yourself, if you decide for whatever reason, which is stupid, for whatever reason, you say, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and use the same wallet again after you got, you know, you've initiated your own refund. You know, you put a 100 USDT in here. Well, it's not going to accumulate it. Nothing's going to happen, okay? You're not going to accumulate any rewards. Nothing is going to happen. All right. And you even if you put it in and you go back, you know, uh, you know, you go back to, <laughs> later and try to get use the refund function again. It's not it's going to fail. It's not going to work. OK, you can only get one refund per wallet because, again, when you get refund, when you go even on the new contract, the USDC contract, when you go to initiate your own refund, that's once you initiate it, that's your, your wallet is auto banned. After you get that, you initiate your refund, you get your refund, that wallet is auto banned. Okay? That means you cannot go back and, and try to refund, refund. It's not going to work. Okay? You can only get one refund per wallet. Once you have got a refund from that wallet, that wallet is auto banned. Okay? So that is what we're doing right now. I just wanted to give you guys all the updates on everything. Um, but yeah, this is what we're doing moving forward, guys. This is what we have to do. Um, again, you, you know, we, I, I started out, I created a project even before, uh, PGV, you know, for those of you that have been around for a while, um, and, and that was, that contract had a lot of flaws in it, um, obviously. And then for other reasons I had to take it down, but you know, um, it, it basically had a lot of flaws. So, um, I learned from that one, we created these, this one better, but still has its flaws, right? And the biggest flaw for me, um, on my side is that. The refunds time consuming okay um and that's something that's not going to be on the new contract so yes we do want over the next 30 days to get everybody over to the new contract um and then once we are able to do that once we're able to get everybody you know refund everybody moved over to the new contract over the next 30 days from that point okay the old contracts or the contracts we have the polygon tron and the bsc contract okay will be done Okay, and we'll only have one contract uh, for the time being, which will be the uh, BSC USDC contract. Okay, um, and then we do have some plans after that, but again, we're not going to be getting to that because that's too far out. Uh, we don't want to put too much, you know, give you guys too much to think about. Just know that's that's where we're at right now with everything, and um, hopefully, I answered all the questions that anybody possibly has. All right. So with that being said, again, one more time, um, either this evening. Um, or, or later on by the end of today, uh, or possibly tomorrow, uh, the, the, uh, the new site, new contract will be ready and then it will be live. Okay. So, uh, we are still, lastly, we're still processing refunds guys. There's a lot. I mean, we got, we got people coming in requesting refund, refund, refund. So obviously it's getting done manually. It takes me time. Uh, we're about a day backed up on refunds, but the, we're, we're getting them out. Okay. So be patient. No worries. Everybody gets their refund if you request it. Just be patient. We are working on getting our refunds as quickly as we possibly can. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I answered all the questions you, you guys. Uh, hopefully I answered all the questions that you guys had. Obviously, I know you're going to have a lot more, but all of that will be revealed uh, once, you know, we get this out the way. Again, um, when it comes to the AMA, guys, we, again, we, we want to get this situated first, then have our AMA. All right. Because then what's going to happen is we have an AMA before we get all this situated. Then we're going to have people asking questions that weren't asked in the AMA. And it's, it's going to cause all, it's, it's going to cause a lot of craziness in the group. So uh, in our discord group, everywhere else. So I'd rather just wait until we get everything done, get caught up on the refunds. Cause that's the main thing I need to focus on getting caught up on refunds. Um, you know, getting the new site, new contract launch, all that stuff. Uh, and then we can go ahead and have a, uh, by the end of the week, hopefully we can have a AMA or possibly 
latest, I would say Monday of next week, we'd have an AMA and go over trading and all the other stuff that everybody wants to go over. Okay. But we need to get this stuff situated first. Um, and then we can get into the, all that stuff and have an AMA and answer all the questions that anybody could have possibly have. All right. So that's something I have for you. Hope you all enjoyed. See you on the next one. Right, guys. So just to wrap up. OK, so as you could hear from this video, right, <clears throat> by the 17th of uh, February next month, OK, everybody will be only rolling with BSC USDC smart contract. OK, if you want to, everybody will get refunded by then. OK, and then once you got your money in your wallet, you can choose if you want to, you know, jump in on the BSC USDC contract or uh, move away from the project. OK, so after hearing this video, that made me more bullish about this uh, project shows that shows professionalism. OK, shows that the guys behind the, team, the, the project, they are professional. They are building something interesting. And, um, you know, it makes sense getting rid of USDT, uh, Polygon and Tron uh, smart contracts and just have one smart contract, okay, for for everybody, all right? So that's why they are issuing refunds. And that's why I mentioned in the beginning of this, the video that they, the team wants people to ask for refunds so they can get everybody out from... Uh, Tron contract, Polygon contract, and BSC USDT contract, so they can all, if they want to, move into the USDC um, contract. Okay. And one thing that I would like to mention is the withdraw. Well, withdraw initial deposit. Okay. Um, they could have add um, a function right here to withdraw the initial capital but you know it's no problem you know interacting with a smart contract is no big deal okay and like i said he said uh, over here on top there will be some um, tutorials how to withdraw from the smart contract okay if you have any issues just let me know and um, i can show you how to do that as well actually i will i might do a video a tutorial video how to do that just in case somebody doesn't know but uh, like he says there will be some um, uh, tutorials up here where you can learn how to do that. But yes, that th th this video sounds really bullish, right? So I'll be looking forward to see the new uh, websites. Uh, as it for now, so what I'm going to do right now, I have until the 17th of um, 17th of this uh, February to claim, well, to to ask for my refund. So what I will do, I will roll with the project as it is right now so bsc usdt and then when it comes to the 10th well 9th of uh i'll have to do some maths but when it has to come when it comes to 9th of uh february i will do my claim okay and then i'm gonna roll with the project for another six days okay so 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 17 16 okay on the 16th sorry i will roll for another seven days and then on the 16th, 16th of february i will claim my rewards and then i will ask for my refunds okay so i'm gonna roll it till last because now as you could hear there is a backlog of um, refunds requests, so I'm just going to be another one. And the meantime, I'm requesting my refund. You know, I might lose some rewards, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to leave people do what they got to do, and then around February time, I will then um, claim my rewards and request the refund when the refund list is not very extensive. Okay. So that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys um are bullish about these updates about pgv moving forwards i am bullish and i am certainly going to roll with the bsc usdc okay and i might even up my position um on pgv okay we'll see so um as soon as the new website comes out and everything else i will come over here and give you an update about it so have a great day peace